Hello, coming to you from Lahore, this is Indus News. I'm Mukhar Rizvi. These are the top stories. At least 43 people have been killed and 10 wounded in a terrorist attack on a government compound in Kabul. The dead were mostly Labour Ministry employees who were leaving work when the attacker struck on Monday evening. During an eight-hour gun battle, Afghan security forces evacuated more than 350 people. Moving on, Pakistan and China have reiterated their determination to work together for regional peace and stability. Meeting in Beijing, Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and China's State Councillor Wang Yi discussed the peace process for Afghanistan. Qureshi held talks in Kabul and Tehran on Monday as part of a three-day tour of the region. Meanwhile, a U.S. court has ordered North Korea to pay $501 million for the torture of an American student, which led to his death. 22-year-old Otto Warmbier died in 2017, days after being released from a North Korean prison. Next, the death toll from Indonesia's tsunami has climbed to 429. A spokesman for Indonesia's Disaster Management Authority said at least 128 people are still missing. And millions of people around the world are celebrating Christmas. In his sermon, Pope Francis called on Christians to shun materialism and remember the poor. In Pakistan, the Christian community is holding church services to commemorate the birth of Jesus. That's all from me for the moment. Thanks for watching.